Week two of the Anabolic Cut Grocery Haul coming at ya. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for stopping by. I have a weekly grocery haul. We went to Sam's Club, Target, and did the Walmart online pickup. My Walmart online pickup was cray, but I am super thankful to not have to go in store. And we got most of the things that we needed for week two of the anabolic cut. If you are new to anabolic, guys, I'm going to pop up a video that's all about what the anabolic diet is. It's basically just high protein, but if you want a little bit more details, go and check it out. Also, I'm going to have my meal plans in a pinned comment. I did that last week. Instead of filming it for you, I'm going to have it in the comment section. So if you want to see exactly what we're pairing all the food with for the meals to stay on course, 1700 calories calories, high protein, anabolic, check that out as well. So let's jump into Target, Walmart, and Sam's Club. Second week of the new year, Sam's Club online pickup and Target drive up. So we spent $108 at Sam's Club, about $45 at Target, and it's not much, but we are missing a dog mat to put Saints dog bowls on. It had to be shipped. So I thought I had two of these in my cart, but sometimes when they're out of stock, they'll just give you what they had. And I think that's what happened. I don't need these, but I don't go to Target all the time. So when I go, I like to pick these up because I really like them. The boneless, skinless chicken breast tenders. There's only 90 calories for four ounces, which is amazing. And 21 grams of protein. Use them in recipes, meal prep, all the things. I got some more of the good culture cottage cheese. Like I said last week, I really wish they had the strawberry and blueberry. If you see those pick them up they're the best of the flavored cottage cheese by good culture in my opinion anyway but these are good too and i did go through some last week so i want to have some on hand i'm clearly obsessed with this stoke cold brew coffee and i have been brewing my own coffee but i've also been lazy and using this and it's just so convenient and so freaking good and they only sell it at target so between that and the damn chicken it's a must had to pick up some stuff for sir saint i got him some dog shampoo this one looked really good y'all came hard for me last week with the dog treats and stuff but guys we've maybe have given him two of those milk bones and one of the little training treats he's not a huge fan of treats he's a huge fan of his freaking dog food so that's good and we got him the bougie con so don't worry that his breeder gave us the oatmeal shampoo is pet friendly coconut lime verbena it is um all the good things as far as what i could tell out of the ones they offered and it is 24 ounces so that will last forever because he's a little tiny booger also got him some dog bowls i thought these were super cute with the white with the little like gray speck it comes out they're removable so you can wash both of these and i got the little mat to put it on because you know bulldogs of all kinds make a huge mess when drinking water so that's all we got for 45 dollars pretend like the dog mat is there so 108 dollars for sam's club I was totally out of bread even last night. I went to go make my dessert thinking I had bread. I needed two slices for this French toast bowl I've been making by Jonathan Clark here on YouTube. Love his channel. And I was out. I was like, damn it. So I was like, man, we're going to do our pickup tomorrow. Womp womp. Love this. Freezes well. Great 40 calories. If you're keto, it's not the best. It's higher in carbs, in my opinion, for a keto bread. But if you're doing some type of cut, anabolic, low calorie Weight Watchers, this is awesome for you. Y'all, look at the strawberries again. Driscoll's coming in clutch. Like last week, they were amazing looking. And I have to say, they stayed looking nice all week long. We're flying through them. So I got another one. And they went down in price. They were five something last week, under $5 this week. That's a score. This always goes in and out of stock when I'm making my online order. And they have them at the last minute i was gonna get the red Waylon's liking the red actually but trey likes the green so the grapes are a no-brainer at sam's they're such a great deal over there went through a ton of lemons last week i told y'all i was going to be putting that in my hydro jug to make things spiced up for the new year and love it so fresh like great for you why not also got some legendary louisiana sweet potatoes because if you watch the first week of the new year grocery haul like walmart i don't know what they were doing with the sweet potato situation they had them in stock got them at sam's so we don't have that debacle this week i have like four of these cartons left on hand but i have a lot of stuff on the meal plan this week that calls for actual egg whites so i always pick them up if i need them trey's almost out of his no sugar dole variety pack of the fruit cups these are sweetened with monk fruit and stevia no artificial sweeteners as you see so it's really great you get four peaches eight mixed fruit and four mandarins and he loves them speaking of what the boys love they love the gogurt tubes and this has been out of stock for a while this was on an instant savings i want to believe and how cute is the spider-man the new spider-man movie we saw actually y'all comment down below if you went and watched the new spider-man i enjoyed it so much if you're a fan of the originals with toby Maguire, 
you're going to absolutely flip your lid. Like so, so good. Got a bunch of the Fairlife protein shakes. We're kind of switching over from the Premier, I guess. A lot of you guys are saying that they're taking the Premier off your Sam shelves and replacing them with the Fairlife. Like what's up with that? I did not mean to get this coffee flavor. I've been wanting to try it, but I meant to get the chocolate for Trey and I got this one. Can't give him this one because it's got like 100 grams of caffeine in it for the coffee. So I'm gonna give him my caramel, which by the way, that is my favorite flavor I've tried. Y'all been asking. The caramel one is awesome. The chocolate and the vanilla, eh. The caramel one, fire. I don't know about this coffee one. I'll update you guys. And they just started stocking the strawberry one. And y'all know Waylon loves like his strawberry milk, banana milk. So I, hopefully he'll like that one. He's not, a, he likes the vanilla one, but he's not a huge fan. I've got salmon on the meal plan for lunch this week. Yes, trying to get those healthy fats in from salmon, avocado, and eggs on this cut. And this is the wild caught Alaskan sockeye salmon. Really good. Make sure that you're getting wild caught with fish, all the seafood when you can. These are 220 calories for one filet, eight grams of fat, but 38 whopping grams of protein. Like what the actual hell? Yes, higher in calories versus like a chicken breast, but it's so good for you with all like the omega fatty acids and then the high protein in it. I'm here for it with a lot of veg as a nice bowl with a runny yolk egg on top, mm, perfection. And then if you're an OG, look what's back. Like I haven't hauled the whole green beans, frozen ones from Sam's Club in forever. We are going to, obviously guys, they are high volume, low calorie, delicious. Got a little steered away when I was in maintenance mode from them because we went to switch to some different things. But now that we're back in the cutting phase, that was a no brainer. That's everything we got at the Sam's Club for week two, $108. Doesn't look like much, but I mean, we got the drinks are pricey. And then Target, Target always gets me. And y'all, are y'all in like new year, new house mode as far as like decorating, purging, all the things? Because when I'm able to get in Target, Target, it's going to be a problem because they got all kinds of new decor stuff out. I need to stay my butt out of there. Right under $110 Walmart grocery online pickup. Got a lot of produce. We waited a long time because everybody and their mom is doing the pickup now because of all the craziness. And we had some substitutions out of stocks and I made some mistakes. But overall, happy with what we got and happy for the pickup. So I got some celery, got some carrots. I'm making Elise Ellis's creamy chicken noodle soup. That's in this month's January 2022 meal plan. It looks delicious and I cannot wait to make it. Only got four bananas because the bananas I bought last week Waylon didn't eat them all and a lot of them went bad. So I didn't want to load them up. I don't know why, because he's usually a huge fan, but we just didn't get through them all. Got a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper for recipes. I got these raspberries. I meant to take them out of my cart because the ones I got from Sam's Club last week, I have like a whole one of these left over. So hopefully I will incorporate that so those don't go bad or I can freeze them. Got another three pound bag of the cutie orange mandarins. I've been eating these for lunch like crazy. I eat like two. So delicious, high volume, loving having that in my life. One out of stock that they didn't have was the Keto Culture hot dog buns. I even went to my little Walmart to see if they had them and they were out of stock of even these, but this will be good. I'm gonna be making those Trader Joe's shrimp burgers and using these for lunch, but I'll have extra because I like to use the Laughing Cow cheese as like a mock garlic bread. Substitution for the Pepperidge Farm rolls I get for the boys for lunch were the Sara Lee classic dinner rolls. You get 12 in there, that's fine, they won't care. I got a big five pound bag of potatoes. Y'all know I like doing the air fried potatoes if you watch the vlogs. Another container of the Fairlife fat-free milk for recipes and the boys cereal. I decided to get a bag of onions. It was definitely cheaper to get like this huge bag with all these onions versus a single here and there. So why not get those that last forever? Got two Honeycrisp apples. I am gonna be eating those for snack with the Dan and Light and Fit apple pie Greek, Greek yogurt. Y'all know I love that combo. I haven't had it in a while, so I'm excited to have that back. The out of stock was the Power Blend by Market Side. Y'all comment, y'all have told me this before that y'all have a hard time finding it too. But both of my Walmarts are always out of stock in it. Always, always. It's rare that you see it. And they only had one of these broccoli slaws. I went in store to get this because they didn't substitute it at the other Walmart that I did the pickup. So that's gonna be on the side of some salmon from Sam's Club you guys saw with like some fried eggs, just making a big bowl. It's gonna be Super clean and delicious. Italian style finely shredded cheese for some baked spaghetti I'm gonna make by Elise Ellis. That's also in her January 2022 meal plan this month. It looks so easy and so good and I know the kids are gonna love it too so that's why I'm excited for it. I think for that same recipe I got this shaved Parmesan cheese by Frigo. The macros on it were pretty good versus some of your other ones and I like this one because it's just like more fresh if that makes sense. 
So it's 110 calories for a fourth of a cup. I don't even know if I'm using that much. For Waylon, I got the Black Forest Ham, the Hillshire Farm. Y'all know this is the one that we like. He liked the deli chicken though that I picked up. So that's a good alternative to know that he likes that versus the ham. Speaking of him, he flies through these cheese heads, light string cheeses, and I do as well. I like them too. I like these better than the Sargento. I know a lot of y'all have asked me because it's 45 calories for those, 50 for these. I prefer the way these taste versus the Sargento. Five calories is not a big deal. I know I told you guys, what, a couple weeks ago, oh, I never haul this, but I have a couple of things on plan this week that I'm going to be using the fat-free singles by Great Value. This is a knockoff to your Borden. If you can't find the Borden, I know that one's hard to find for a lot of you guys. Check your Walmart. They have this one, and I can't tell the difference, and it's way cheaper. For myself, I had a couple of these in the fridge that I went through this week, and they were really good. I was like, oh my gosh, I love the black cherry. It's my favorite in the sugar-free Jello cups. Yes, I can make my own, but I like that these are already portion control because if I make the big one, I'm going to eat the whole thing for 60 calories versus 10. If, if you know me, you know me. So yeah, it doesn't have the best ingredients, but if you are in a deficit, a calorie deficit, these are amazing to help fill you up and tide you over until your main meal for only 10 calories. So if you eat two of them, 20 calories and two grams of protein, that's awesome. A bag of frozen sweet peas for that creamy chicken noodle soup. Also for the soup, I got a bag of the wide egg free ribbons a lot of the ones kept going out of stock in my cart when i was doing it so i was happy to get any of them and this one actually for some reason most of them are 210 calories this one was 200 calories for the same amount don't ask me why but i'm here for it i'm like need to take stock in g hughes ketchup because we all fly through it i'm buying like two a week like Sam's, you need to get on this because I know you have the barbecue sauce, but you need the ketchup in bulk, like ASAP. I wanted to get the Classico four cheese. They sell the big, like 32 ouncer, but they kept going out of stock. So I just got two of these for that baked spaghetti. Also, I'm making her, it's a buffalo chicken grilled cheese sandwich. I don't remember what meal plan it's in, but it is absolutely fire and I want to have that one night. So I just need one can of chicken instead of stocking up with the big ones from Sam's. This was the same ingredients, same macros, and pretty good price, and I don't have a bunch of this extra in the pantry when I don't need it right now. Tea diced tomatoes and tomato juice for the baked spaghetti as well. So that's all the food items we got. As far as non-food things, it was non-negotiable. Like you cannot get any Sam's Club paper products in the pickup or online. You had to go in store and get them, so I will do that because we are out of everything, like none. And I did a mistake. I thought I was getting paper towels with one of these, but instead I got two things of toilet paper. So we're good on toilet paper. So I got this 18 mega roll. This is comparable to Charmin by great value. And then also the nine mega roll comparable to Angel Soft. I thought this I think was uh, paper towels and I need paper towels now. So I'm gonna have to run up to the Dollar General. White spoons, 48 count. I like getting these. Y'all know if you know, because I need that in my life because of the dishwashing. We washing the dishes, but that helps you grow out. And then drinks. I wanted to get the Canada Dry in the 16 and a half bottles, but they were sold out. And this was on rollback. It was pretty good price for the 12 pack. So I love the Canada Dry Zero Sugar Ginger Ale for the evenings and at dinner. Really good. And this was a great substitution. I had the plain single flavor of the blue one, I think, and the Gatorade Zero. I don't remember how many come in there. Definitely not 18, I don't think. But they subbed me for the variety pack instead. So what I had in my cart was like $6.99. I know this is $10 because I've bought it before. So that was a really good substitution that they did that. So that's everything we got at Wally World this week for the crazy pickup under $110. That's going to do it for week two of the Anabolic Cut grocery haul. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful in showing you what you can eat in your calorie deficit, whatever that may be. And I'm so grateful for you guys coming back each and every week and showing support and love for these grocery hauls. It means everything to me. And I hope you guys have an awesome week and let's keep killing it out there. Let's keep showing up for each other and let's go week three. See you next week. Bye y'all.